go. Oh, yeah, actually, touch these and to clean them off. Hmm. So, that's that, and now we go back into the green again and we'll brush this green paint over and make sure that it's all covered where it needs to be um, That's this part. Yeah. Ah, I think I realise what it is. I did make an attempt to clean, but it was such a pain in the neck to do. But I think I just gave up. <laughs> I couldn't get any of my stuff in when I had you know the um, the founds or whatever to do it and I couldn't find my knife at the time to get it done so I think I just gave up <laughs> yeah I thought but beggar it I'll get it done tomorrow and then the chance came to prime my thoughts I'm not wasting that and then Realising that there's um, stuff to be cleaned off, but yeah, it's just a case of keep a watch out, and if you need to, keep making adjustments here and there. But you can't and you can't progress until you've got everything the way you want it okay so now we're back over to this fella um, there's not much to do here obviously uh, quite easily done so it's just this one the one here one here and one round his wrist. So mark it off first so you know what you're doing. That colour on the hat I'm going to do that colour right. So the boots first of all. Scrag brown. There we go. So I'll get some of that on the palette. Oh no, sorry, this wasn't for the boots. I didn't get this one for the boots. I was going to put it on the hat because what I'm going to do with this, I'll take a little bit of it and get some of the Wasdaka Red, mix it in, and then get some of the Nurgle Green, Nurgle and Green, and mix that in. 
So it's like a deep reddy brown. And we'll put it on the hat. And we'll just make sure that we get it in the creases. If it goes on anywhere in there, it doesn't matter because we can just, it'll just look like shadow. So I'll paint all over the hat. I think this is supposed to be a, an old style pilot's hat. Or something like that. But we'll just make sure that everywhere on the hat is covered as you do. Uh, when I come back after the first wash, I'll probably be able to tell you what the the, uh, the team name is because I'll be um, I'll be I will be checking on it as soon as I've finished doing this part because as I say it's doing me nothing trying to remember. Um, I'm sure it's the green something. I may be wrong, I may be thinking of something completely different. I still might be thinking of the green side in 40k. But, oh well. Um, there we go. Just make sure that so everywhere on the hat is done, and anywhere that isn't, you do it. <laughs> so I'll just pop that there, and that looks to be done. And obviously, that's metal, so going with this colour anyway. And next. For the boots, we have Doom Bull Brown. Um, with your brush, there we are. It's not much of a difference between the two colours, but there's a slight pale. It's the the colour that we use for the hat is paler, so there is a distinction. So. We will see what I mean. So I'll just go over this in the Doom Ball Brown. Um, the minis come come off these MDF bases quite easily they just snap the only problem is they can rip the layers of the MDF bases off and um, you know top layer and you have it then you'll have to give it a little bit of a, a file or a sand down or scrape it off um, with a knife just to get the bottom of the foot level so that you can glue it onto the clear perspex base but that's not a problem and as you can see I'm not really too fussed about getting this paint on the MDF base because once I finish this they just they'll probably end up in the bin or I might just save them for another job like this where it's going to be minis that are put on MDF base uh, 
clear acrylic base and um, it doesn't matter about them as such so that's one done now the second one done um, again we can just slap the paint on these parts don't be too fussed about it as long as it's not going on incredibly thick always make sure your paints are watered down or if you're taking them straight out of the pot you have a slightly wet brush um, I know when I first started the channel I was showing how I when I show how I paint I was taking straight out of the pot and then when I learned better I took out I took it out of the pot put it on a, a normal uh, you know a CD or some such um, and then I got myself a wet palette when I learned even more so all the while you're painting you're learning and this is some not so much um, a channel for showing you how you should paint it's a channel of me showing you how I paint and what colors I use and showing how my painting has progresses or devolves in some cases um, well sometimes I start a project and I decide I'm going to do a video and nothing goes right um, but I still put them up you still see what I what I do even if it's not what I would class as good quality or my best work or even reasonable work you still see it so hopefully you understand that um, not everything when it comes to painting is a foregone conclusion you may try you know you may see what you want to do but actually being able to do it is another matter because either you're not in the mood or you know, there's plenty of ways of it going wrong Right, so that's that wash now. These are now getting a wash <coughs> all over with a colour that you may find surprising. But it does work quite well over green. Carolberg Crimson. It gives quite an... It browns up the uh, model where, the, where it comes into contact with green and you get quite a nice this brush is still a bit if if and when I after I forgot to clean it as well after I've finished the heavy pounders um, when I say clean I mean go over it with a soap to clean it properly after I left it covered in the wash when I was doing the pounders but That's what we have. 
So that's, and then, as I say, when this is dry, we can, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? When this is dry, we can start the highlighting process. Right. These men have dried by the look of it. Fortunately, it's given everything the same kind of look, especially with the hat and the leotard, but we will be sorting that out, don't worry. These are the green part of the green bruiser team. Sort of find it out. <laughs> right, let us crack on with uh, painting these and we go back into the green. And this time we are picking out details. So we'll start off here. Now, don't for one second think that no detail is too small to cover. Without some of these details that we need to get in, there's no mini. Right. Well, there is a mini, but there's no good quality paint job. We are here now to pick out every little thing that makes this mini realistic looking as far as we can um, what I do need to do however is get a bit more a little more watery consistency with the paint I don't want it too strong here because it's not that's not what we're looking for we don't want it um, like a wash but by the same yesterday we don't want it going on like a call to emulsion. We are now looking at picking out areas of light around all this dark. However, we want this particular shade to depict the total skin colour of this mini if you get me drift so what we're doing is we're going over every single part of skin except the crevices you know the little dips were the at the edge of the um, um, muscle that I saw nicely being sculpted for us um, So we will be going oops, under the mini with this, not just as a highlight. This is going to be a little bit of a challenge with some of the areas of this particular mini, because it's not looking, it's not very, it's not flawless by any stretch of the imagination, this particular mini. So we're just going to do our best with what we can do. Um, so I'm not a perfectionist by any stretch of the imagination so I'm not looking for perfection with my minis but if there's something that's seriously wrong then yeah fair enough um, I'll probably contact but as long as the mini looks okay for the most part I can, I can deal with some so it's like minor issues, and I'm just going to have it as he's had an accident or something, and it's sort of like affected his you know, the look of his face. He's chased one too many pet cars. 
that kind of thing. He's been hit a few too many times. You know, he's, he's a wrestler. And occasionally, wrestlers get hurt. And sometimes when they get hurt, the, the actual skin doesn't heal terribly well. And that's the storyline I'm making for this fella. That's why he's wearing a hat and the other one isn't. You know, make these little stories up, explain it away to yourself as to why the mini looks the way it does. And then it makes a little bit of sense and gives it a little bit of backstory. You know, adds that added level to your mini. Um, this is the actual um, team that I will probably be collecting. Not team, the casino that it is in this. It's not teams, it's casinos. So there are a few models in this in the, this casino range that I do like the look of. So I think I shall be mostly getting them. I may branch out into other minis as well, but these are going to be the the main one for me um, but I already have an extra team coming for us but that really is for Ali that's Ali's team um, so that when we start playing she'll have that one and I'll probably play this one um, because this is more my type of, type of thing but another part of the Casino is an undead kind of thing, so I'm probably getting that scene first for myself. And um, what's the word I'm looking for? That is when I start collecting these properly. I'm not going overboard at the moment I just want to get started playing the game um, and as I start building up as time goes on then that's when we'll start seeing things change and added to there we go we need a, another rinse off that's how we just Picking out details and bringing out the, the raised areas. Now, as you can see, I'm not too bothered at the moment about going over the teeth or anything. because I'm not going over that part yet that will be the last part I do and I will be um, doing it a little different to what I'm doing now so if there's an area where you know full well you're going to be doing differently then don't worry about going over that area too much um, so Nice. I've decided that this little fella, because of some moulding prop problems here, and there, has had a very serious incident occurring in his life over the years, and it's caused like a physical skin deformity. Um, Which is why it tends to cover up certain parts of his anatomy, like his head um, under his arms. He doesn't really bother about because 
majority of the time you possibly won't see that but where you do it's not looking pleasant um, but there you go so make his story a little interesting for yourself as I said earlier it uh, gets you more connected with your mini and uh, as you're playing your You know, you, you feel it brings out as I said, a connection and makes it makes you feel as though you actually know the little fella when you're rooting for him all the time and you don't want him to get injured anymore, that kind of thing. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but hey, sometimes it works. And I think, as far as highlighting or the, the best highlights for this fellow is concerned, he's done. So I'm going to whisk through this one now, and uh, you can listen to some music while I'm doing it. about ready with this one to call this highlighting stage done um let's have re-enhanced the colour of the skin 